Interesting. They're, uh... They're gone. Well, as I said, the Nintendo Switch is the next glyph that we need to find, and that one's to the east, the far east. Thankfully, a lot, most of these are kind of clustered where we're already at, but I, I think we're that's going to put an end to that quest for now. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to finish exploring this region, and then set our sights over to this great fairy fountain. It all starts with heading back to the uh, Skyview Tower and exploring the mushroom forest. Oh, what was down there? So, suppose that is in region. I, let's explore this before the mushroom forest. I remember there was a shrine down here. There was a... a uh, there was a hole in the cliffside right over here. And I think that's a pretty easy find if the, if the shrine's still there. I, like, I doubt it. That's not... It's not common that's the, that that's the case, but... We know of it. And it actually looks like it, the hole might be gone. Yeah. The hole is no longer there. It, it would have been right there, I think. Well, either way, it looks like we found a well. Uh, not a shrine, but a well. Interesting. Which, I guess it doesn't... It's not necessarily... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. That's bombable. Sure enough. Oh, this is awkward, this is awkward, this is awkward. Come on. One hit. And it looks like we got a miniature treasure trove. Sweet. Oh snap, oh snap, oh boy, I, what? They can be here? That's not good. Okay, where's my scaffold? That thing worked so well for me before, I'm gonna use it again. Where are my schematics? Oh, that was so close. Okay, surprise Phantom Ganon fight, if I can, if I can do this. Okay. Get out a good bow. Here we go. Let's equip our best, absolute best gear. Where is he? I didn't expect to ever see him on... Well, I, I guess we've our first encounter with the hands was on the surface, wasn't it? I honestly forgot. Whoa! Okay, that's that's a little bit new. That's a little bit new. Uh, yeah, Leox shield. I need to get the flurry rush. Look at that didn't instantly kill me. That's the power of my new defense. And spin attack too. I want to get the flurry rush because I need to remember his attack patterns. You know what? Maybe I just go on the offensive. I'll give it one more shot. can do this. I mean, I know I can do it. The question is, how stylishly can I do it? Look at him stagger. There it is. That's it. That's Curtain's Phantom Ganon. That was 
really easy. Actually, I had I had the luxury of flailing around this time. Kind of nice. Demon King Bow. Ah. Uh, you know what? Let's drop this Demon King Bow and take the new one. Again, like, it's not that strong. Unless I'm missing something, it's just not... It's not that good when I don't have the health to back it up. Well, that was a fun little surprise. I I mean, I was looking for a shrine. I found a Phantom Ganon just chilling in some ruins. All right, then. There's... Who is this guy? Are those plushies? Which way to the school? Ha! Uh, huh. Was this not the way to Hitano Village? I can't get lost now, not after spending all that time with the Gerudo doll maker learning to make sand seal plushies. I refuse to give up on my dream of handing these out to the school kids. I can't wait to see their faces light up when I give them these stuffed toys. Hope I can remember not to glare at them. Oh, I know. I should practice my routine so I can hand out the to toys with a smile. M morning kids, I'm the sand seal lady. Hmm, not much pizzazz to it. How about, morning kiddos, it's nice to seal ya. Everyone's sealing good. <sighs> Take it till you make it, I guess. But it'll be worth it to see those kids beaming with joy. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah! Well, there's our quest. You startled me. Give a gal some warning next time. Oh, uh, my toys. I worked so hard to make the ten of them, and now this. How am I supposed to gather all these up by myself? I'll help with the problem I caused. Oh, now you want to help. Then start picking them up and loading them on the cart. I'll make you a deal. If you get ten of them for me, I'll pay you. But if you're serious about helping, I want to see them all in that cart at the end. And you got to be careful loading them. They tend to fall out if they're not all the way in. I want to get moving, so make this quick, okay? I'm, I'll be keeping track of time. Uh, hold on a sec. You're not thinking of pocketing any of my seals, I hope. They're handmade for children. I said I'll pay you if you bring them back, so this is kind of, but this is kind of your fault, so... Mind giving me a 20 rupee deposit? You'll get it back once you're done. Oh, thanks. Well, feeling confident? Then get to it. There's 10 stuffed toys I need you to gather up for me. Be sure to load them on the cart nice and gentle. They'll fall right off again if they're hanging out to the sides. Now hop to it. And we're actually, we are actually timed, wild. Well, I have a strategy. If I just fuse these things together, then I don't need to make trips. I can make one return trip back to the cart. Should be easy enough. Uh, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and get this one right kind of in pocket. Ten. I think that's everything. Done. Wait, 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 wait. They weren't kidding. They unfused. And. Done. Not bad, like 40, 45 seconds. No way, you're done picking them all up. That was fast. Nice work. I didn't think you'd manage to load them up in such a short time. So yeah, here's your pay. Your deposit is included in that. Wow, we made 30 rupees off that. I'll get the smiling thing down eventually. Anyway, I clearly need more practice at it. So leave me alone, will you? So apparently that's a mini game. So we can just do the mini game. Um, okay. Alright. Make $30 off it, I guess. In Breath of the Wild, this area was under a perpetual storm, and we had to solve a puzzle where we had to bring, uh, orbs in random places to unlock the shrine. And here, though, it looks like that area is still intact, albeit with no storm. Really, there's no Korok? Certainly there. There always is. What? The, tu the Thundra Plateau. What does it hold in this game? Watch, it's just a Korok, and there's 
absolutely no shrine here. It was it was right here. Right in the middle. But now? Not so sure. There might not be a shrine at all anymore. Not even a boss though? Certainly. Maybe I need to bomb this. Bomb's not it. Weird. Okay. There's nothing here. This area is very, uh, there aren't a lot of shrines here. We've flown by this before, so we, uh, the, the southern area of this region, so I, there might not actually be a shrine. Color me surprised. Like, I've been searching for, like, <clears throat> I don't know, 30 minutes uh, just to see if there's one last shrine in this area. It feels like there should be, but I there might not actually be one. Well, we got to end the episode off on a bang, right? Oh, well, there's a boss here, at least. You're done. Hinoxes will continue to be a bit of a meme. Uh, other than the, the Tabantha Ridge, uh, Bridge Stable quest, which I'm going to wait for you guys' input on that because I... I looked, I, I circled Mount Rome, I went on top of Mount Rome, I went into the Scablands, I circled this, I didn't see neither hide nor hair of a single white goat, and that quest is honestly too cryptic for me to really care about doing. So what I think I'm going to do instead... Another rune over there. Oh wait, no, we've, we've been there, we've been there. What I think I'm going to do instead... Actually, this was a this was a sh uh, shrine in Breath of the Wild. I think I'm gonna go to the uh, the tower, and then I'm going to unlock the Great Fairy. I think that's a great way to end off the session. Hold on, is this well what I think it is? It is. This well is an entrance to the depths. That's crazy. I also, I'm very glad that I didn't follow through on jumping down there because um, I don't have a, I don't have a great place to warp to right now. So I'm just gonna leave that well alone. I'm gonna leave well enough alone, <laughs> and go over and continue onto my objective. I'm really just marking shrines. I'm at the tail end of a recording session. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. I, I feel like I almost have. So we're gonna encounter this. Uh, we're gonna discover this tower, and then we're gonna. Even though there's a shrine right there, I'm gonna mark it, and we're just gonna do that next episode. There's no. There's no need to rush. And instead, we can we can folk, uh, fixate on the great fairy, which is gonna make all of this a lot easier. Is that tower under guard? Ooh, it is. Oh, that's a fun end of end to a uh, an episode. We get to storm the castle. Huh? Is there an easy entrance to this where I don't have to fly up? That'll do. That'll do. Gotta be careful I don't blow myself up. Let's try out my new toy. Whoa! That was close. And oddly smart of them. Ow! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, pal. 
not so close to the finish line. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's get this party started. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Why didn't that hit you? Have fun. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so um, one of the things I wanted to focus on this episode, but I haven't had a, a lot of opportunities to do it, is using my, my Zonai devices to go on the offensive for a change. And this is what I came up with. It's not perfect. I still have some, I still have a little bit, a few kinks to work out, but honestly, it's pretty good. Come on, come at me. Yeah, so some of them make it through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, I ran out of battery. That's awkward. Oh, snap. That wasn't good. Uh, let's... Again, I want to see this work. Ow. Come on through. The water's fine. Whoa! Ha! He can't fight it! He's fighting it! He's trying to beat it like it's an enemy! And he lost! Take that. Imagine getting off screen. <laughs> yes. That is exactly how I drew it up. Oh, there's still a guy? Oh, we get extra credit. Bonus. Bonus. Okay, so I gotta shoot it. Raise her up. He went to sleep while his boss was dying? You know, I probably should have expected that. Use it to sow chaos. Oh my word, it's shredding them. It's shredding them. I'm so proud. Look at... It's actually... Like, it doesn't hit for a lot. But... It is hitting. And that's exciting. That's potential. Look at it. Do that. Okay. He's gonna die to the lasers. He died to the lasers. And this guy's gonna die to the lasers too. Is that everybody? Did I do it? I love this thing. It's... It's so flashy. It's so flashy. Is it good? Uh, debatable. But the fact that it's dealing damage without me needing to, to, uh, to control it or do anything to it is really strong. Like, I could make multiple, multiple ones. Granted, there were a lot of bombs here, so there are a lot of way different directions I could have gone with that. But the, the giant, you know what? I, I think I'm going to call this... I think I'm going to call this the knight. Cuz it has it has like the knight heads, but also it attacks from a really weird angle that's like s above and adjacent. Yeah. It's my knight. All right, let's unlock the tower. And then scurry on over to the to the stable and uh get the third great fairy. The third great fairy in one recording session in, you know, probably like, I don't know, five episodes, seven episodes. This is a four, uh, this will be a five hour recording by the time I'm done. And, um, I, I know for a fact there's a solid like hour and a half that I'm not using. Okie doke. Let's get our scan on. And then I might just immediately warp over to the stable. Um, I don't. I don't need to go kill the dragon. I've killed the dragon before. Uh, 
I know where most of the shrines are at this point. So like I might I might just do a quick look look see and then just warp out. I need to look I need to look um east south and east. Again, we've been to most of those islands. We're we're honestly backtracking a little bit at this point, which is fine. Okay, so there's there is an island here. We're at least gonna land on it just to take a quick gander. Especially since honestly, there's probably like a Korok seed on it. No, but there are fire fruit. Oh, we got two fairies. That's fine. Watch this. Da 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 da. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we went into this well. And three fairies in a well. Really good well, actually. Okay, there's apparently a Korok here, but that's not what we're after. We are after... What did you do to your cart? What are you doing? I've spent so much work on that. You know... I don't see any wheels around. I think this might actually be what they want me to do. Oh, I know that face. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that is a face I know. Traveler, have you come to meet another great fairy? No? Am I wrong? You're not here to meet with the great fairy Kesa? Perhaps you came here to visit Outskirt Stable. I'm sorry to say the great fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower pot and hasn't come out in a while. She must be scared to appear just like what happened at Woodland Stable. This fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troupe. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. So I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but I'm afraid Piper isn't with us right now. I for honestly kind of forgot about that. Oh, Piper is a young flautist with the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop and we haven't seen him since. A traveler from Faron to the southeast said that they heard the sound of a, a flute at Highland Stable, but... Oh. Uh, well, I can't end the episode on that then. Um. That's kind of awkward. Huh. Well, I mean, ending it on a shrine is possible, I guess. Or it could end it on the minigame. Let's end it on the minigame. Hello! I love a good ring. Heh, <laughs> I made myself quite the tower, eh? Just look at that. And I put that bell right on top. Why, you ask? Because I thought of a great new game. A test of strength. Want to give it a go? Sure. Yep. Your goal is to make the bell at the top here uh, of the tower ring as loud as you can. Throw something at it with as much force as you can. Do that and the bell will answer. You're welcome to all the stuff over there. Some of it's what's left over from when I built the tower. And some of it's this weird junk I didn't really know what to do with. Anyway, you can use it however you want. Once you ring the bell, the bell, the game ends, and you only get one ring per round. Oh yeah, also, I built the thing on my own and the parts ain't cheap, so I gotta charge you. You get it. 30 rupees per try. Alright, let me get things ready. Look at that smile. First, let's just do a control. A metal barrel on a spring. 
Okay, a little a little bit of a ding. Easy enough. Like we that's the proof of concept that we can ring the bell. Oh ho, that must have been at least a 59 on the mega ding scale. You did pretty okay, but you can do better. The trick is to ring it is through something real heavy, real fast. Now show me what you got. Now I gotta see what a vanilla rocket does. 57. Okay, that's a little bit louder. I was curious to see if the bombs would go off and do a secondary explosion on it. A secondary ding. That was a monster roaring. That was a 74. So loud, I love it. I could see her all day to listen to you do that. Here's a thing. Okay, let's see what I can do though. Let me let me try it again. Nope. That was very odd. And I I think it might have been softer than the last attempt. 76. Okay, I'm trying to get a 100. This should be quite the, the ding. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. A 37? Oh, come on. Here we go. Ooh. That was pretty good. New record. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. Plus, it was my first time actually using stabilizers besides, you know, that one thing. Well, I thought that was a monster roaring. That bell sure is loud. That must have been a 94 on the Mega Ding scale. So loud. I love it. I could sit here all day listening to you doing that. Here, take this. It's a thank you for giving that bell a good old smack. And I get an opal just like the rest. But I know you can go even louder than that. Come on, make it sing. Okay, well... If you guys know a way to get a 100, 94 is really good, though. Or if there's a special reward for getting 100, then I'll return to it. Okay, I think, um... I think I'm content. We got a lot done this recording session. A lot was cut out, which is good. I, I think that these episodes were, were really moving. And uh, we got to mix it up a lot. Exploration three different quest lines at once. But now, we've hit the point where we're starting to travel again. I might, um, I, I did notice in between episodes um, that <clears throat> I had some X marks as the spots that I haven't, uh, I haven't checked out. So I think what I might do starting next episode is clean up this little strip of the depths, which, trust me, it's not even going to take a full episode for that. It's like maybe, maybe half an episode. Grab this X and then begin exploring central Hyrule and the Great Plateau as we make our way to the southeast to complete all of the fairy fountain quests. This first. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join me next time. And for now, let's kill a Gliok real quick. I'm stuck on its head. Okay, I need to get cover. Ow. It's one fairy. down. Eat 
Ox ain't no problem. Nothing's a problem for me anymore. Nice shot. Undercover, undercover, undercover. He's dead. <sighs> Couple fairies. I'm not invincible yet. I'm just not worried anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for the next recording session. Again, the one bit of feedback I probably need is uh, the completion of the goat quest. But other than that, I know where all the shrines are in this region, for the most part, I guess. Or I know where a lot of them are. And so, uh, we're gonna clear that out. We're actually making legitimate progress here. We're making gigantic leaps and bounds in this map. We finally have defense under our belt. We're, we know what the runes are about. A lot was solved this session, and I am thrilled. It was every bit as as good as I was hyping it up to be, in my opinion, for my personal enjoyment. Alright, see you guys next time where we go back to good old-fashioned exploration.